Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Master Blaster, 735. Um, coming up with a video um, on the new amps that I'm going to be uh, coming up with. Uh, we're actually going to go pick up because they at FedEx. I wasn't home for the delivery, so they, I'm going to go pick them up right now from FedEx. Also, um, these were the amps that was running everything in my car. As far as meds, the rear deck, the two back doors, and the front doors. This 5000 was running the back doors. I mean the front doors. This 2000 was running the rear deck. This one was running the two, the two, the two side, the two back doors. Also, I had another one running my tweeters, which is this one. I don't took all these wires out and everything, so look a little crazy in here. But that was a pyramid arctic. Yeah, this one here. This is a decent amp, man, for mids, mids and highs. Real good. And uh, this is the only model besides the Arctic brand you just saw. These are the only model pyramids that I would stand up against any other um, brand, any other name brand. I, I, I could stand these up against a few. I'm not going to call no names, but if you heard my videos, uh, and you heard my last video, uh, the last one me playing with any music, uh, you would know this is what was putting out all that meds all the meds was coming from these right here this is like I said the only brand of pyramid amp that I ever deal with if I had to deal with pyramid but let me just show you something this is the only one it happened to but uh this is the reason why I had to stop dealing with it but other than that the, the amps are great if you're gonna be pushing a lot of power and you're gonna be running them to their full potential then you're going to expect some of this. So this is why I came up out of this one. It still works and everything, but that's not safe. And I had spotted that because it was under my seat. So I had just spotted that. But this is the only one that did it. But then, then again, when the heat gets to them, regardless, you still get these. This, this is one of the only flaws that I can see in this amplifiers. Okay, you can see where the clips broke off the ends right here to protect them from touching. You can see that. That's that's like I said, when the heat get to it, and you can see a little crack up under there. So that's the only thing. But other than that, this one didn't go through it though. This one, this one didn't. It didn't go through it. So um, yeah, these are pretty good amps, man. If you're gonna play them now, this is an AB amp, okay? So a lot of people will get this same amplifier, and what they would do is they would run it like a D-Class amp, like run it to play bass, and it's, it's not built for that kind of, it's not built for nothing like that. This is built for good mid-range. These are perfect for any kind of mid-range. Now this model now, the blue model, this is the only model that I prefer to deal with, that I know that ain't crappy, and that can keep up with a lot of other amplifiers that are out there that are selling for much more money. But anyway, let me get out of here. I'm not going to leave y'all long with it with this video. I've got a new unboxing coming up later on today uh, with some new amplifiers that I'm going to go with and give them a shot and see how it goes. And so then, all you guys, uh, peace out. And oh, yeah, J. Jones, um, Car Audio One, man, you're going to be messed, bro. I always liked your videos. All right, what's up? I always liked your videos, man. Uh, I know that you got them two APs now, man. It's 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 gonna be it's gonna be on, man. So can't wait to see you make your comeback, man. You know what I mean? So, with all that being said, I want to say peace out to the whole YouTube family.